Welcome once again. This is Oscar Zinze Football, where we discuss anything to do with football from Africa to the world and from the world to Africa. AFCON done and dusted. Been an incredible tournament, but somehow uh, something I've taken a great note of is uh, how the South African Premier League has attracted new audiences. Well, this is largely because of the great exploits of Bafana Bafana in AFCON 2023 in Ivory Coast. I mean, we have uh, a lot of federations talking about it. We've got a lot of uh, content creators talking about it, millionaires, you know, business people, uh, people in sports in different, different countries, in particular, Africa. Bafana Bafana has been used as a case study. Uh, there's a lot of uh, outcry from especially in Nigeria and, and Ghana. Uh, they are in one voice in that if South Africa can actually do it with a whole lot of local players, it actually means that we can actually do it uh, as Ghana and Nigeria. Nigeria has got a great population. They have a league, but the league is not largely followed by the locals. If you ask any African anywhere in the world, They'll tell you this one thing about Western Africans, uh, particularly Nigerians and Ghanaians. They are loyal. They are loyal to the English Premier League, you know, Serie A, Bundesliga, La Liga, at the expense of their, their local leagues. They don't even attend the matches. They don't even watch uh, their, their matches. But somehow what Bafana Bafana did with bringing in the whole lot of um, local players, it has somehow actually daunted upon many of them that no man, this thing is actually is actually doable. We can actually do what South Africa did by actually investing a lot in our local league and uh, invest a lot in our local players and uh, this will actually change the outlook in the future. Now, if you actually had to sit down and actually compare the top four nations in AFCON 2023, Ivory Coast, that is Nigeria, Ivory Coast, Yersin, and Bafana Bafana of South Africa, you realize that all the other three nations heavily relied on their overseas or European based players. As compared to Bafana Bafana, who only had two players outside the continent of Africa, and that is uh, uh, Yaya Stolle playing in the second division in Portugal and uh, Michali Mayambela playing in the Premier Division in Cyprus. And the only other player outside uh, South Africa, but in the continent of Africa, is Pesitao, probably our highest profile player who also played in Belgium, also played for Brighton in, um, in, in England. But the rest of the other players were playing in the local league. Now, this has caused a lot of uh, talk uh, attracting um, attention on, on, our, on our league. In particular, the one club that brought, uh, that contributed a lot in that Bafana Bafana squad, and that is Mamelodi Sundance. Mamelodi Sundance in that 23 men squad had about nine, nine players. And of the nine players, I think seven or eight were we're always in the starting starting eleven in Hugo Bruce's team. Now, recently there was an interview on Masanda One Fan Vlog. You should follow the the the, 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 the YouTube channel on um, right here on YouTube, where they were interviewing the the head coach of Milo Sanders, Rolando Mukwena. Rolando Mukwena actually made it clear that uh, he he has been uh, requested by a number of uh, you know big broadcasting channel your espn africa sky sports there's probably also one in france i'm not sure if it's canal or, or something else so everyone there's, there's actually a, a lot of people flocking in into south africa to actually zoom in into how south africans are actually making this league work the south african premier league is far from perfect and I'm not claiming we are perfect at all, but we have a model that has been working for, for some time. The biggest club in the country, Kaiser Chiefs, by far, did not have any player in Bafana Bafana squad. And uh, it's largely because they have been disappointing for the past uh, seven to nine years or so. Um, Orlando Pirates had about four players in the Bafana Bafana squad. The main striker in the first 11, which is uh, Evidence Mukhopa, 
you had uh, CBC, the defender, you had Munari, the midfielder, I'm forgetting the other one. Oh, another striker, Zakele Lipasa. And uh, everyone now is actually of the opinion that the benchmark uh, used before as uh, to outperform other teams in the national team uh, can no longer be used before because if you focus everything, your resources, your, your investment on the local league and the local players, you can actually make the national team to be, to be better. If you look at the stats and how Bofana Bofana performed with all the teams they performed against in this AFCON, you'll realize that uh, Bofana Bofana could have actually gone to the finals had they won against the Super Eagles semi-final. Yes, we lost, but uh, as how Bofana Bofana plays, the confidence of the players, their technical ability, we are not as... Uh, uh, physically gifted as the Ivorians, as the Congolese and the Nigerians, but uh, whatever we have, the giftings we have uh, technically understanding uh, the positions on the field, we've actually used it to our advantage uh, and hence how we've attracted a whole lot of people. But Fana Fana is still spoken about to this day. If you watch, I have mean, I've seen a couple of channels already outside South Africa who even analyzed the game between Moradi Sundowns and Orlando Paris, the first games of the Premier League just after the AFCON. And there's a whole lot of uh, publications uh, coming into the country, actually zooming in and wanting to analyze what's actually the secret of, of, uh, of Bafana Bafana. It, it, it is a beautiful sight. Uh, to, to witness and uh, we, 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 we honestly want the league to grow we want uh, we still want VAR we don't have VAR hence I'm saying we are far from perfect but um, we, we are also <laughs> a model uh, for other countries to follow I mean there's a channel even in Namibia our neighbors in Ghana in Nigeria in, in Senegal uh, one thing they really created us for is how much we do have players playing outside the continent of Africa. We've got like some MLS players, we've got players in France, we've got players in um, the lower leagues of England, uh, but none of them were actually selected to be part of the Bafana Bafana squad, as opposed to these other big nations who heavily, heavily rely. They even overlook their, their local players, but the sound and the tune is changing even from these uh, these legends your JJ Akocha, Nwanko Kanu, your Yaya Toure, uh, Sunday Olise, your Trahures, uh, they are all singing the same song that it cannot be forever that these nations or our nations are relying on players who are playing in Europe. If they're playing in Europe and they deserve to be in the squad, yeah, definitely bring them back. But if there are local players who actually do better, who can match the overseas player, why go far as uh, convincing these players? Because it's also a struggle to convince some of these players to 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 leave their the alliance of their clubs and actually come and represent their countries as opposed to local players when they are called they really value the call and actually come and represent their teams a country like nigeria and uh, maybe this should start with the citizens to really support their their local league their local clubs and uh, this is also the vision of Dr. Petrus Mutsipe when he took over um, the CAF seat that he wanted to make CAF Confederations Cup, CAF Champions League, make it as lucrative so that the local players or African players will not see the need to leave the continent to go play outside because of money. Because he will try and make it, number one, as competitive as it can be and make it as lucrative as it can be so that players can actually make uh, sufficient money even uh, for after their short careers. So we, 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 we can grow as a league. We can grow definitely as a league. And uh, there's a whole lot of things we, we, can, we, can, we can improve on. As much as the, now the nations and the audience uh, are coming in and asking questions and zooming into our league, how we do things, uh, uh, I believe there's also room for us to improve. But other countries too, 
they really 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 need to put a lot of investment put a lot of resources into their local players their local leagues the local clubs should also market their clubs better in attracting the citizens to come and watch their games this improving the product and also attracting sponsorships which is something vital for any club to actually be run well so yeah man so in really in closing as africans uh, people who love football we actually do not need validation and credibility from 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 anyone or outside the continent of africa we can do this ourselves we can upgrade ourselves we can improve by ourselves and actually compete with anyone and that's where i end it yes i do go by the name of consensus football if you're seeing this face is content for the first time do hit that like button do engage um where can we improve as um as uh as local leagues uh you know uh obviously as south africans we look up to the northern african leagues especially your, your egyptian league and i see even the tanzanian league is is improving i follow Simba, I follow Yanga, I follow Azam, and uh, they, they are improving. But most of the nations who are strong, uh, who have strong in, in the nations when it comes to continental football or international football, their local leagues are not as sound. I don't know any club from Senegal, but a lot of Senegalese uh, play their trade in Europe and they've got good, decent, decent players. Uh, the Algerian league recently has been suffering because of uh, money problems but they have a lot of decent players who are playing outside um, outside uh, the, the outside Nigeria and they we have also a decent league in um, Botola Botola League One in Morocco you have Raja Casablanca we that Casablanca you have uh, there's a number of teams who compete in uh, KF uh, Confederations Cup year in year out as well um so 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 we, we can really make this continent the best uh, only if the citizens can decide to go and follow club football and support their club that's how we are going to help grow these clubs and help grow our football thank you so much for sticking uh, by and uh, going with me for all these minutes i do really appreciate all the support from all over and uh, do engage in the comments below uh, which club do you support where do you come from and uh, which club do you admire and that you would like to also to follow maybe in the south african premier soccer league goodbye and may my god bless you all